Hey guys, John Rettinger with John4Lakers.com and I want to give you a very quick look of the performance of Windows Vista running on a stock configuration Illumina MacBook 2.4 GHz. Nothing terribly in depth here, just general Vista stuff. I don't have many programs yet installed on the Windows side. I only put Windows on the Mac because I'm going to need some programs for graduate school that are Windows only. So Vista was installed via Boot Camp and it's Vista Home Premium. And if you'd like to install Windows on your Mac at home, all you need is OS X Leopard and a full installed version of either XP, Service Pack 2 or newer, or Windows Vista. And that's it. Installation is a piece of cake. So guys, hope you enjoy. I did do a quick Vista score for you so you can see general performance and um, just some simple stuff. Anyway, leave questions down below and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, John Rettinger from John4Lakers.com here. I'm going to give you a demonstration of Windows Vista running on a stock configuration 2.4 GHz new Illumina MacBook and it's running Windows Vista Home Premium and I partitioned off 45 gigabytes of hard drive space and it is loaded in here via Boot Camp and the disk was partitioned via the Boot Camp installer. So let's go ahead and get this started. So here is the new Illumina Mac MacBook. When you turn on the computer, just like any Mac running Boot Camp, you're going to want to hold down the Option key as soon as the boot screen comes up. We'll go ahead and hold down the Option key. I'll let you guys see how long this takes, and then I'll cut ahead for you. So there you go. We are now greeted with two options. One that says Macintosh hard drive here. The other one that says Windows, so we'll go ahead and boot into Windows. And it is going to go ahead and launch Windows Vista. I want you guys see really what this looks like um, from start to finish. Sorry for the reflection there, the, uh, the light is coming on. So you've got Microsoft Corporation, you can see Windows Vista booting up. It actually is relatively quick, um, which is nice. It's not as quick as OS X, but it is nice and fast. So I'll go ahead and give this another few seconds to load up. There's the little Windows Vista icon. And here we are. Let me type in my password. Log in. So here we are, Windows Vista, and it is very quick and very fast, and I actually haven't had any crashing issues uh, with it. So I'll show you um, some of the features of Vista and kind of show you how Arrow works and some of those other things. So I'll open up Firefox here. I don't have any programs really installed in Windows, I don't um, use it that much, but I will show you kind of what it looks like and show you how quick things are and how the Mac can handle it. Um, so here now I'll will launch the switch between Windows bars, part of Windows Arrow. You can see the three dimensional stuff that pops up here. And really see it's very quick, very seamless, no lagging at all with the new NVIDIA integrated processor. I mean it really is nice and fast. Um, I will show you guys also how fast the computer can uh, can benchmark. Actually, I'll do a Windows Vista benchmark score for you. So we'll go to the Start menu. We'll go to Control Panel, and it should be a Performance. And the mouse, by the way, um, while we're in Windows Vista, um, works just as it would in OS X. Two finger scrolling works for going up and down, and for clicking. You can either click the button or double tap. Although the only thing that's a little bit odd is if you want to right click, instead of two fingers like in OS X, it actually is three fingers on the trackpad. So three fingers will pull up a right click. It's a little bit weird, but um, you know, one of those one of those things you get used to very quickly. So we will go to performance. Okay, performance information and tools.
And I already did a benchmark here, but I'll do it again for you guys so you can see what the score is here. So we will update my score. Now this takes a few minutes. Uh, so I'm going to turn the camera off here and I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done. But let you see that it's working. We will continue. Part of the nice fun of Windows Vista is it asks your permission for everything. So it is going to do its test here. And um, I will show you guys the score in a minute. Alright, so I had to plug it in. It actually won't do it when it's not plugged in. But the same results did come back. The MacBook 2.4 GHz processor is rated a 5.2 um, for Vista, which actually is a very, very, very high score. The processor was a 5.3. The RAM was a 5.9, graphics was a 5.4, gaming graphics was a 5.3, and the primary hard disk was a 5.2. So this is a very high rating for a, any computer really, especially one with integrated graphics. Shows how capable the new MacBooks really are. So guys, this is just a real quick demonstration of Windows Vista running on a Mac and show you how quick and easy it is to work. And I hope you enjoy it. I'm John Rettinger with John4Lakers.com. If you'd like to get some more updates, follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash John4Lakers. Enjoy, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.